that's over. Not used to doing night shift actually. But I'll tell you what, I don't. I, uh, I do miss, miss the feeling of leaving work seven in the morning, nice, beautiful day, crisp morning, you're up early already, and I have the whole day to myself, and I can do whatever the hell I want, and that is a great feeling. So it's seven o'clock right now, and I honestly, I don't know how the hell I got through the night, but I ate fuck all last night. I didn't eat any of the kangaroo, didn't eat my oats, all I had was that meal that my sister got me, and I had a monster, a sugar-free monster, so, man, I'm feeling fucking hungry right now, and I haven't had bugger all water either, so I'm feeling pretty dehydrated. I'm going to go home and make up some BCAs. Fuck, that's bright. I did those, I probably made about five episodes of... Uh, Jake, what is it? Jake version 3.0 <laughs> Episode 5 I got up to So I pretty much kept it at like one day per episode Because I've actually vlogged a shitload And I've got so much footage So you know, I do, I do want to use most of it um, But in saying that I don't want the episodes to go too long It's not like I'm a Christian Guzman Or, um, or a Friesma I don't have that much going on in my life, but I do have quite a bit, so I'm enjoying it, I'm enjoying it, it's keeping me motivated, I'm feeling much, much leaner than I was two weeks ago, so we're making progress, and uh, that's all we can ask for. So anyways, I'm going home, going to get a drink, I'm thirsty, and then it's cardio time. Actually, you know what? I feel like reminiscing on old times and getting a dollar fifty coffee from Coles Express. I used to come here every single day before work. I'd either get one or two. And even if I was late to work, I still had to come here. It was like a fucking addiction. But I guess that's caffeine for you. So I'm just gonna stop here. I'm just gonna get one today, I'm not going extreme. And I'll probably get a bottle of water as well, and then uh, see how we go after that. Cheers. Oh. <laughs> mm. Yeah, that's a bit hot. I think I just burnt my tongue. Yeah, I can feel it already. I'm actually bloody surprised at the amount of people I've seen running and walking. But I guess, I guess that's when people do, is, is in the morning when it's not so hot. But I'm never up to actually see them. So it is nice, I must admit, to be awake at this time and not have to work. Just got to make the most of the day now, don't I? So I finally made it down here, it's like quarter past nine now, and I got home about quarter past seven. So it's been a couple of hours, but <laughs> I didn't allow myself to go to sleep. I did lay down, watch some YouTube, as you do, but I'm down here now, so we're going to be doing incline walk on the treadmill varying inclines for an hour and that'll be it it's always awkward when someone uh, comes in behind you isn't it yeah. mm. 
Anyways, let's go. So these treadmills, for some reason, they only let you do 25 minutes of cardio maximum, and then you gotta wait like two minutes before you can start it again. So what I do is I do 25 on one, jump over to another one, do 25. On the first 25 minutes, I did about 230 calories, I think. And on the second, I did about the same. I think a little bit less, about 220. So all up, 450 calories burnt. Uh, that's pretty good, I'm happy. And now, I'm gonna go for a swim. <laughs> My mate who I, I met for a back session yesterday, Dom, we took some pictures together and I just put them up and, <laughs> and said, true story, this lad right here has said to me every single Monday morning at work for the last two years that he'll start shredding with me. It's Monday, bro. Because <laughs> it's so true, man, he talks shit. See if there's any hot tourists out there. It's Easter. It's Easter, maybe there will be. Alright guys, home now. Um, <laughs> excuse the underwear, uh, but I just thought, oh, no, that looks kind of weird, doesn't it? Home now, just uh, cooking up some protein. We've got kangaroo meatballs and chicken breast. One kilogram of chicken breast and 450 grams of kangaroo. So, kg of chicken breast is about 200 grams of protein. Uh, 450 grams of that is about 80 odd. So, 100, uh, 280 grams of protein right there. So that's good. definitely going to last me today and tomorrow. Um, I'll probably be having a couple of scoops of protein powder and some Shivani Greek yogurt as well for my protein. So that will be me sorted for the next couple of days. And yeah, it makes it easy. Uh, the only shit thing is that I don't have any marinade or anything on the chicken so what I'm going to do is put some of this on if I can open it Moroccan seasoning mild I can't, I can't handle anything above mild like even when I go to Nando's um, honestly it's lemon and pepper lemon and herb sorry <laughs> or maybe mild if I'm feeling brave but honestly like no nah, it's just too much so this is okay there's I don't think there's any chili in it. I think chili is the ingredient that really fucks me up. But anyways, go like that. A little bit more oil on the top. And that, my friends, is gains. That's gains right there. Major key when cooking in an electric fry pan, use the lid. If you want moist, really nice chicken breast, like like cooking it in, in an oven, um, but with the crispiness on the outside, what you do is you turn it up quite high, you sear it on both sides, get a nice brown coating, and then you put the lid on, and then it, co it cooks nice and evenly throughout um, the middle. And it's actually quite hard to overcook if you like keep on it. So that is my little ch trick for cooking boring old chicken breast and making it as good as possible. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. One kg of chicken breast, 450 grams of kangaroo, less about 100 grams worth, because I'm eating it already. And um, 450 grams of basmati rice. And so I'll be probably eating about half of this today. Um, I've got a big chest session later on, so I'll definitely want some carbs before I train. But um, I'll probably take one to work tomorrow as well. And then basically, guys, 
depending on how my macros are tracking, how many how much sugar I've had per um, that day, etc., etc., I will choose my sources to use on my meat. Um, so at the moment, it's either barbecue sauce or sweet chili. Um, I should, I really should invest in some Walden Farms calorie free sauces and chocolate sauce and pancake syrup and all that shit because that's like a dieter's bloody secret weapon having low calorie sauces and condiments to go with your food because that's what makes it taste nice isn't it so I really should get that and I want to get some flavor god seasonings too so I think I'll I think I'll actually go online tonight and buy some flavor god seasoning just the fight like the multi-pack because that's what everyone gets and some Walden Farms. I'll just get a multi-pack of that too, because I'll just get everything. I'm sure everything will be nice. So yeah, anyways. I really recommend these. They're nice. There's a pro and con of having that service station just outside my house. The pro is that it's right outside my house. The con is that it's completely full all the fucking time. Because apparently United, or that one, has like 10 cents cheaper petrol than anywhere else in town, which I can't understand. And then Tom, someone told me that they put water in their fuel. And that's why they can make it cheaper. So. Someone told me actually not to go there, but it's cheap and it's like, well, you gotta trust a, a fuel station, don't you? Anyways, Tuesday today, one week until I go to New Zealand, which is fucking cool, man. Can't wait. Um, I've got a good shift today. It's it's a long one, it's 10 hours, but it's pretty cruisy. So I'll, I'll be taking the client into town um, in about a couple of hours and chilling out for about four. And then coming back home, and then he gets ready for football training, and then he goes to footy training, and we just watch him play. And then 10 hours is up. So it's a great shift. I'm hoping it's gonna go well. I've brought, I've brought my laptop with me. Um, so when I, when I do take him into town, I'm gonna take my computer and continue editing some of these episodes, because I actually, man, I, I really enjoyed it. I got into it, got up to like number eight. Um, Still not exactly sure, you know, if I'm going to include some stuff, but there is some controversial shit, um, basically to do with drugs, and I have taken most of it out, but if you guys do know me well enough by now, you know that I do like smoking weed, um, that's my, that's my vice, I'd say, I don't drink at all, like hardly, so I will be drinking back in New Zealand, but I don't really drink while I'm here, and it's more smoking weed that's that's sort of my my vice that's my escape from reality for a little bit if i need to so um yeah but it doesn't affect my health and fitness goals that's for sure and if it was you know I, i'd definitely be cutting it um but i'm able to maintain my health my diet my fitness uh you know gym workouts everything like that and it's all good so got one scoop of Optimum Nutrition Gold Standard pre-workout and one scoop of uh, Core ABC and what I've been doing lately is just freezing half a bottle of water in the, in the freezer getting it out in the morning pouring a little bit of hot water over it and then filling it up and having a nice cold drink like the entire day oh, um, eating wise I fuck man I really <laughs> I had some big cravings last night um, so, one snack that, that I go to regularly at the moment, especially late at night, is frozen fruit um, to keep my, you know, sweet tooth at bay. So I've got four frozen, four different frozen fruit, and they're all really low in calories. And I recommend them to everyone as a snack because they're delicious and, you know, quite a bit of volume for the amount of calories that you get. So I use mango, strawberries, blueberries, and cherries. And to be honest, cherries are probably my favourite because they're the sweetest, but strawberries can be kind of um, tasteless. 
but they are the lowest in calories. Like literally half a kg of frozen strawberries is like less than 250 calories. And I think half a kg of fucking blueberries is about 350 calories and the rest are about the same. So it's really low. I ate probably nearly a kg of frozen fruit last night. So, you know, it's about six, 700 calories, but tasted good and it's fructose so it's healthy sugar <laughs> um, yeah so I'm not feeling not feeling too good not feeling too bad but I will be fasting this morning until at least lunchtime so I'll show you guys what I eat in my first meal but until then it's uh, it's off to work and to see if my client is in a good mood today which is always a good start so I'll see you later So, better put the aircon on. All right. So, as suspected, turns out I do have a little bit of spare time, which I'm going to spend on the computer making up these episodes. Um, first meal, which is not really a meal, protein bar. Just found it in the supermarket. 250 calories, 22 protein, eight fat, five carb, which is not too bad, but I was I was craving something sweet. And I've finished all my BCAAs, so we just got water now. But um yeah, yesterday, yesterday was a pretty big day, eh, physically. Um I did, I did an hour's cardio to start and then we had a big chest session with my mate. Um, you know, I guess I'm feeling a little bit tired, a little bit lethargic. Um, I've, I know I've only been dieting for like just over two weeks on, on these videos, but obviously if you've followed me before you know that I have been dieting for a fairly decent amount of time over the last couple of years. Um, at least, you know, half of the half of the time I've been dieting. I've been in a caloric deficit. Uh, so, you know, the pinch, it's getting there. Um, but, in saying that, this fat around my, around my sides, lower back and, and lower abs, is definitely, definitely tightening up. And also, one part that also I see tightening up when I do start getting lean is this rear delt. So the separation between the rear delt and the tricep. Um, usually that's just you know smooth so when that start when that cut starts coming in and it's actually quite hard and you can see it tensing and stuff um, that means that I'm making progress and that is happening so that's good but in saying that triceps has never been a, a strong muscle group for me um, so you know for for that cut to come out even more I'd actually have to build bigger triceps so you know you do what you can do anyways I'm gonna crack into this client is fine in town that's good and he'll call me when he needs me and that's what you want isn't it guys that's what you want so I'll speak to you later well that went way too quickly success I've just made three more videos it's been a couple of hours I've rung the client he's good everything's fine and now I am starving, so now I'm going to actually have something good to eat. So I'm going to go to the supermarket, I'll probably get some shredded chicken breast in a bag for five bucks. And I will get a Monster Zero with no calories. And what else am I going to get? Any carbs, I might get a banana or two. And that'll be, that'll carry me through to about five o'clock. It's about two o'clock now. And um, I'll probably be training after work. I finish at eight, so I'll be training about nine. So I'll definitely want to have something a couple of hours before I train as well. So I'll probably be having about three meals before I train, which will be good. I'll have a good amount of strength, a good amount of carbs in my system, and it should be a good workout. So I will see you guys later on. All right. So we just got back to work. Just got back out here at Secure Care. Um, good day so far, hungry as per, but 
just check my abs in the uh, bathroom lighting and they're coming out. So we're happy about that. Afternoon snack, one quest bar. Then I'll be having a chicken and rice meal pre-workout and then we'll be smashing I think we're gonna do some shoulders tonight. Trained chest yesterday, but shoulders definitely don't don't feel too bad. Uh, maybe I might skip the pressing movement, just do uh, side and rear raises, but we'll see. See what happens. Um, so that's good. As you can see, the fucking sky is grey, which is kind of weird. But that must mean there's some rain coming. I think it rained last night. So yeah, guys about it oh one thing I did forget to tell you is that today is the day that uh, the deal on my investment property goes unconditional so luckily my real estate agent called me and reminded me because um, it was actually Friday that was the day that I had to pay this uh, remainder of the 10,000 that's gonna hold it and, and make the deal unconditional um, but obviously with Easter weekend there was heaps of public holidays and today is the first business day um, for me to be able to do it. So I've just gone and done that, just paid the 9,000. So that's a total of 10 that's in the property of my own cash. It's going to be plenty more than that, but for now that's, that's quite a lot. And obviously the deal's unconditional, so it's definitely going to be going through. Um, now I just need to wait about another three weeks until April the 22nd, which is the actual day of settlement and then I'll own the place, so, yeah, exciting. But anyways, Jake version 3.0, coming soon. I should, I should probably give you guys a physique update, I haven't really done that, but I didn't, I didn't want to until I had something real cool to show, or until, actually, you know what, it's basically until I can pull off a vacuum and have defined abs there, because at the moment it's pretty soft, like, when I pull the vacuum pose but I think if I ever do do an actual bodybuilding show I think one of my one of my signature poses is definitely gonna have to be a, a huge vacuum because I can actually pull it in like I can pull everything in it's it fucking goes to nothing so I think that that's so not, that's something um, that I'm genetically gifted at I guess because not everyone can do it and I don't know if you guys saw but Arnold Schwarzenegger trolled the shit out of Kai Green after he won his the second Arnold Classic he told him because <laughs> you know Arnold Schwarzenegger is all about the aesthetics and you know the posing and everything so he told he told Kai Green just as he was accepting his trophy to go and do a vacuum pose for everyone on the stage he's like alright show us your front double bicep show us that vacuum pose and obviously Kai Green cannot do a vacuum pose <laughs> and a lot of the top bodybuilders can't do vacuums so uh, it was fucking funny <laughs> and he's like look at that look at it and he's not even pulling it and he's fucking telling the crowd look at it look at that awesome vacuum pose he's just trolling the shit out of him but anyways Kai Green is one of my favorites so I didn't really like that but personally I can do a vacuum there ain't no GH gut here